Okay, before class student, okay, you you type import import what? Import Java dot util ah eh? util dot scanner. Sorry ah. Eh? Scanner and then you put uh, semicolon. Okay, this is something like your you know in C you have include include SD S, what, STD IO dot H. This is similar to that. Eh? But in Java you don't put include you put import. Okay, Java util dot scanner S capital eh? You need to have this because we are using scanner because scanner is from this library. Okay, Java import space Java dot util Util dot eh? scanner. Okay, util stands for utilities. Okay, so always remember if you want to capture input from the user during the runtime, you, you need to use scanner. Okay, now we can move back here. Read the marks. Okay, how to read the marks? Okay, let's say you want to read marks for the first student. Eh? Okay, first student. Area is what? Student right? Okay, student. I put student 1 equals to, okay, now you put input dot what? Next. This is from library methods. Huh? Okay. You know why I put? Because input is from here dot next int. Huh? This one to memorize. You know why I put an int? Integer because the mark is into integer right. The student is integer right. Okay, if your marks is double, next, double, uh, double is D O. Uh, yes, the full form. Huh? Next, double. If you string, next string. Huh? but since we are using integer, just put next int. Okay. Okay. Do you think this whole line is correct? You think it's correct or wrong? Correct or wrong? Okay, this one is okay because you want to capture the input. This is like scan f. Okay, you want to capture the integer input. Okay, how about here? Is it correct or wrong? Okay, this one. This is array, right? Array. Okay, maybe you say zero eh, because the first student starts zero. Okay, I put zero. Okay, is it correct or wrong? Okay, first student is zero. After the whole thing is processed, it will go back again, right? Now, it will process first student, second student. Second student is one. Can you change this? This is fixed. So how, make, how you can make it variable? So it can change according to the repetition. Ah, yes. You need to put I. Ah, yeah. You cannot make it, you cannot put a fixed number. Because first student, zero. Second student, one. It always change. How to make it not fixed? Because this is I here, right? Okay. Okay. Is the marks above or equal 50? How you can convert this? If, right? Okay. If. Okay. You put. Okay. This one you cancel. The cancel whole thing. If. Student. I. Marks is above or equal 50. Okay, if yes means what? Add one to counter right, counter pass. Huh? So counter pass. Okay, equals to what? Counter pass plus one. one. Or you also can write short form. Huh? You also, or you also can write counter pass plus plus. Okay, either this or this because it's the same thing. This is the shortcut. Okay. But if it is false, then else, yes. Or if it is false, you just put okay, false means what? 
counter fail equals to counter fail plus 1 okay or you also can put counter fail plus plus either one you can have both okay anyone confused with this whole line here okay first you get the marks then you try to determine whether the marks is above or equal 50 if it is true then you update counter pass if not you <coughs> up update counter fail right eh? after this process has been executed it will go up i plus plus initially i was zero now i become one then we'll go here one one is equal smaller than 29 yes. true right then we'll go again here so student i student is what i is one student one eh? student one is second student eh? okay you get the marks okay now you take the mark you compare which is correct then go up again i plus plus now i become two right initially one right so plus plus means at one so one become two two is it true or false, false. no two smaller than 29 yes. true then we'll go again get, we'll go again get the marks do the what you call um, some checking here go up so it was two right before before this three is it false or true here still true because three is uh, smaller than the nine go go in get the marks same process go up three become four true or false true so you do the process again go up okay now let's say it is 28 28 29 true or false 29 you see here, 29, smaller than or equal 29? True, right? Because you put equal. So true, process, go up. 29 now become 30 because at 1, 30. Are now true or false? Ah, false. False will jump here. The whole thing won't be executed because you need to do it 30 times from 0 to 29. Once I become 30, stop. You will jump here. Okay, you can see this in the flowchart I showed you earlier. Okay. Okay, anyone find it difficult to understand this whole thing? Okay, I won't just want to explain about this uh, if, huh? because sometimes you see people use curly bracket, right? But I don't use why. Why I don't use curly bracket? Okay, I, I gave you one example, huh? Because most of the time students, they confused. Okay, I just show you one example, huh? Uh, Okay, if you put if, sometimes you see people use curly bracket, sometimes you see people don't use curly bracket. Okay, you know why? Because, okay, let's say you have if, huh? if h is 30, huh? 30, then, okay, I just put do 1, do 2. Okay, if I don't put curly bracket, if h is true, sorry, if h is 30, if let's say it's true, which one will process? Do one or, or both? Do two. Only do one. Because in if, uh, if you don't put curly bracket like this, uh, you don't put curly bracket, okay, it's fine. You don't put curly bracket. And then after that, if the statement is correct, uh, if the statement is true, only <coughs> do one will be processed. Because if you don't put curly bracket, it means that only the first statement will be covered. But if you want both to be processed, if this is true, uh, now you need to put curly bracket. Like this. Uh, now it's like this. Now it's correct because you have more than one statement. If you have more than one statement to be processed for your E, you put curly bracket. But if you only have one, then no need to put. But if you want to put, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, that's why. In the example that I show you, I mean the problem that, that we are discussing, how many statements? Only one, right? And this I don't put. But if you put, also can. You put here, you close here. Okay, the same thing here, even else. For else, I don't put curly bracket, right? It means only this statement is covered. But if you have two statements, because sometimes for if, you may need to do 
more than one process. Then you need to have open curly bracket, close. Then you have multiple statements here. Because sometimes the exam and the assignment student confuse. Eh? Sometimes they, they put, sometimes they don't put. Ah uh, yes 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 means you have more than one statement here. Ah uh, yes here. Yeah. So do I put at the beginning of? Um, assuming I only have multiple multiple process of L statement. L statement. Yes. Yeah, if the counterpart is assuming the if is true. This one, okay. Yes. So I update only the counterpart. Yes. If it's false, I ah. do two actions assuming. Ah yes. So only here. Only here. Uh, only here. Okay. Okay, let's say this is one, you don't put okay, but this one you have more than one, then you put here. No, you don't put here. Here means it's covered here. Okay? Okay, because this is very important. I, I think it was explained, yeah, it, it was explained in your module, huh? because I just want to bring to your attention huh, about this. Okay, so for any question on this? Okay, it's quite straightforward, huh? but if you understand, then it's good for you, okay? So at least when you do your revision for topic one to topic four, it's okay. Ah, okay. This is library method. Library method. I capital. Because this is library method. Okay. But sometimes if you put here, if you don't put input, let's say you put your name. Like Ali. So this one should be Ali. Okay. Okay, now finally, yeah. So you okay, so you do this, you type this only once. But you, you will see here, the whole thing will be repeated 30 times. Okay, so that's the beauty of loops. Okay, finally, the last step is to display the marks. Okay, now try to observe the displays. Huh? Okay. Uh. Okay, now try to see the last uh, displays. Okay, of course, you have three outputs. Huh? Okay, now you need to display the marks of all the students, display number of uh, students who pass, and display number of students who fail. Okay, but before I focus on this, huh? okay, let me elaborate. Okay, okay, let, okay, this one I put initial value zero, right? Okay, okay, let's say we are you on the first student, huh? zero, first student, student zero, you get the marks, let's say thirty. So true or false? Thirty. False. Go, go here. Counter fail equal to counter fail. What is the initial value? Zero. Zero plus one? One. And now you know why I put zero. Huh? If you don't put zero, when first time you want to process this, let's say you don't put zero, counter fail equals to counter fail. What's the initial value? Unknown. Unknown means the computer will take any garbage number. Okay, so that's very important to give initial value. Because let's say for the first student, Let's say the student pass. The same thing. Counter pass equals to counter pass. What's the initial value? Zero. Zero plus one? One. So now the latest value of counter pass is one. Then that value will be stored in memory. The old value will disappear. Uh, that's how the compiler will update counter fail and counter pass. So la the latest value will be displayed as output. Okay, now let us focus on display the marks. Huh? Okay, pardon? Uh, the plus plus or counter fill and then plus plus. Mm. Mm. Uh, either one. No, no, no. That okay. means the close of the. Oh, okay, okay. Semicolon, eh? Not dot. Okay, semi colon, eh? Either this or this one you can choose, eh? but you cannot have the both. Yes? Same question. Okay. Okay. So make sure you save, huh? Okay. Now let us focus on the last three thing, huh? Okay. This one is straightforward, but uh, which one that you think is tricky? This is straightforward, right? Which variable store this information? Counter fail. Which variable store this information? From the past, which variable store this information? The 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 array, the array student right? Okay, so this one once, this is once, but this one you need to repeat how many times? 
30 times. Okay, so this one again you need to have loop. This one, no loop. Right, but this is just one output. You only have one variable. One variable. This is also one variable, but you have 30 data. So you need to repeat 30 times. Okay, so this one you need to use for. Okay, so again, I will show you how you can use for. Huh? Okay.